Well, hey everybody, today is Thursday the 21st, December 2023, and it's cold out here, <laughs> I don't know, I I swear I don't think it's like 45 degrees, but it just feels, winds kind of to my back, so this is the way I'm sitting, looking out that direction, and that's what the trees look like, you can't see no, you can't see no wind blowing anything, but it's, it's just whooping around this back deck but most of it's coming from my back so i hope you can hear me and i know i'm zoomed in way close on my face but that's because i'm trying to protect it from the wind all right I'm trying to see, why is there there more light oh okay that's the building you <laughs> see there's the building all right that's what it is <laughs> it's cloudy but the sun is kind of peering through the clouds. Well, let me say this right off the bat. I swam one mile, and I did it in 29 minutes and 9 seconds. But I swam a thousand miles, a thousand meters before that. I think it was a thousand meters. My watch didn't. I didn't set it like I thought I had it you know in gear and but no after I burned myself out at what I usually call a thousand meters I have an alarm that goes off in my watch and I just kept waiting for it to go off and I said well I'll swim another 50 meters and see what happens it never went off so I stopped and I realized that I hadn't even started my watch so I, the, the, I know what happened the teenagers were in here swimming. The sure enough, uh, tiger, tiger shark uh, college kids. The these are college kids. I'm pretty sure they might not be tiger sharks, but they they're very very fast. So I watched them as I was getting my gear on, and that made me want to get in the pool because there was one lane open. And I wanted to get in that pool and get that get get to swimming with them, so I could kind of get some timing off of how quickly they, you know, they're bypassing me real fast. And I didn't hit the watch right. I thought I did in my mind, but there's a couple of steps I missed. <laughs> so I got out of the I got out of the pool because they they had got done pretty much. And uh, so I got back in a center lane, what we call lane number two, the one where I called myself seeing the clock. And so I cut back out again. And I got to the thousand, and my watch gave me the alarm for the thousand meters. And then uh, I stopped, and I rested for a few minutes. Well, not a minute, maybe maybe a minute. And then uh, I did the rest in 200 meter intervals. So it's not a non-stop, but uh, it was pretty fast, 29, nine seconds. 29 minutes and nine seconds, yeah. And, but that's what's going on today with me. I am freezing out here. I know it ain't psychologically, it ain't that cold, but with the wind blowing and being wet and ain't dried off yet and all that kind of thing, and ain't got nothing wrapped around me, nothing. Towels to my back trying to help block that wind. But on a snowy day, I usually put the towel around me when it's, you know, like below 30. <laughs> I don't know how much I'll be able to hang this winter. Shoot for doing it, you know, long time. See how that fits. All right. Hayden is out here showing the people stuff. That's Hayden in the green. Yep. I think he's pretty much took over for Sam, Samantha. But I'm not sure about that. I just know that he's real friendly. He talks to me. That's good. I like people that talk to me. 
I like people that uh, not afraid of me. <laughs> they some people think that I'm going to rub off on them and they're not going to understand their religion anymore and they won't talk to me. They just kind of like polite and do and do and then they I can tell they just like stepping two steps away from me because they think I got the cooties or something because I don't believe in religion man-made. I believe in my Father God and I believe in Yahshua Ben Joseph. But if we're going to call names, we got to call names. Nobody, nobody <laughs> was living at that time named Jesus. Yahshua. There's evidence of that name more it is than any other name. Yahweh. Ah, I don't even understand Yahweh. Yahweh was an Anunnaki. One of those king kingdom building builder race. And he could destroy people with a nuclear weapon at a drop of a hat. He did it several times. He got pissed off. I've been watching a video about Anu and Enel and Inky. I may be saying those names wrong, but Anu was the daddy. He had two sons. They had to escape their planet to try to save their planet, and they found this place called Terra, Earth, dirt and water. It's just a story, people. Don't get excited. The Bible's just a story. Don't take it every dot, tittle, and and believe that uh, it's the unfallible word of man. Don't you know that if... Well, I ain't going to take nothing away from you. You don't want to get taken. You keep your hell and you keep your heaven and you keep believing what you want to believe and... When they pass that back, that bucket around, you you put money in it, and you know you're gonna get to go to heaven. But I'm gonna tell you right now, if you don't learn your lessons, ain't got nothing to do with sin and guilt and condemnation. It's got to do with purity, hearing your Father's voice inside of you, not outside of you, but inside. If you're neglecting to do your inner work and you're relying on religion to take you to heaven, you're going to be sadly disappointed because there's a soul trap on the other side of when you close your eyes. And if you're a sucker here, you're a sucker there. You'll come back through the birth canal of a woman screaming and crying and can't remember nothing. You can remember something, but you know, you know something's horribly wrong. <laughs> That's because you didn't finish your lessons. And who am I to tell people to finish their lessons? I've got plenty to do and learn and know. I want peace on earth as bad as anybody else. But it has to start with you first. I know y'all have heard that from people. That it, it, you're, the, you're really the one that matters. Now religion don't necessarily teach that because they got to have all the masses of the people to give them money. But when you know that you're one with your father, you can get on about the business of finishing awakening into this consciousness, this every day to hear from your heart and your father and your mother God. Every day to just do the will of the father. Not my will, but my Father's will. Not the will of some church that tells me what God is. I want to know God for myself. I want to know the Creator of all things. I know this about the Creator, my Father. If He creates it, it's eternal. Nothing of this world is real. Nothing of this world is from paradise. And nothing in this world is eternal. Everything about this world is subject to be a, a mystery. 
from a false, false history. I just thought I'd throw that in there while I'm freezing my ass off out here. I've been out here almost 20 minutes. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go and cut this off so I can concentrate on my getting my body temperature in my mind right by meditating. If y'all don't know what meditating is, look it up. The church tells you that yoga and meditation is from the devil. That's why you gotta realize that they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Meditating is simple. Yoga is simple. I'll explain it later in another video. Maybe the next video. Y'all tune in to see if I explain why yoga and meditation is perfect for a human body. Y'all have a good day.